Recently, we made this levitating top using some strong neodymium magnets and some 3D printed parts. There's 13 disc magnets that form a ring in the base and there's one ring magnet in the, the top. And it worked out quite nicely, but we wanted to see if we can make it without a 3D printer. That way you can make it at home. As I mentioned, the base has 13 ring magnets and you can print out this layout from our website. You, know, you simply print it out and cut it out and then cut a piece of wood to match the size of the layout. It's about three inches by three inches. Then I tape the layout to the block of wood and use my Forstner bit to make a mark where the center of the hole is gonna go. This step isn't needed, but it just is helpful when you go to the drill press. I'm using a half inch Forstner bit here, and that's what I'll use to drill the holes. I set the depth so that the Forstner bit does not go through the other side, but comes very close. We want the magnets to be as close to the surface as we can get them. Again, I'm using a half inch Forstner bit for these half inch magnets. So we want the north side facing down, and I'm simply just going to slide a magnet in each hole and I have a wooden peg to push them down in the hole. So I'll slide the magnet into the hole and use the peg to push them in the hole. I'm using uh, a metal plate underneath the, the base as well. This helps hold the magnets in place while I'm doing this. And now it's time to test it out. To test it out, I'm using a top that is 3D printed just to make sure the base works. After some trial and error and using post-it notes to level the base correctly, I got it to work pretty well. The top spun for a couple minutes. The real challenge here is making a top that spins good enough. You can see our makeshift top here. It's a pencil uh, with electrical tape so that way you can put the ring magnet on there. And then there's some plastic washers that we picked up at a hardware store um, just to use as some weight. Um, it's a lot harder to spin this pencil than it is the top that we printed. If you can get it spinning correctly, it gets close to levitating. You can see here in the beginning of the video, or at the beginning of this uh, trial, got it pretty close to levitating. You can see the pencil wobbles a lot when you spin it. I think that's because of the sharp point. Now in this spin, is probably the closest we got to getting this top to levitate. See right about there. It levitates for a split second. And then for some reason, after that, we could not get the top to spin correctly. Uh, we tried for minutes, probably a half hour, to try to get it to spin correctly and just could not get it. Eventually, after hours of trying, we gave up. I think you could get the top to work if you 
had the time to dedicate to it. However, we got frustrated and, and stopped testing it out. We'd love to hear ideas of what you could use for a top. Um, we thought a pencil would be a great everyday item, but obviously it, it's hard to spin. So if you have other ideas, we'd love to hear from you. Yeah. <sighs>